Let's cut to the chase. I found a joint in the basement. Anyone gonna fess up? It's mine, okay? No, 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 See what you've done? Mom, you should have aborted him! What's next, James? Killing us in our sleep? Wearing our guts as accessories? You're tearing this family apart! This is lame. I'm out of here. Whoa, pal. You're not going anywhere. Jeez, guys. It was only once. Not even 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 once. What is going on YouTube? It is Lord Zang Fei. Today we're going to be doing a deep dive on one of my most popular videos, the best PVM Necro build in the game, in my opinion. Now I got this message that says it's pretty much just a bone Necro and not enough summons. After I crunch some numbers, this dude's totally right. Let me show you what I came up with to where I feel like we really capitalize on what it means to be a hybrid Necro. So what does it mean to be a hybrid character? Obviously two sources of damage. Most of the time though, it's gonna completely mess your character up because you're only doing half this damage and half that damage. And the build actually hurts your overall damage output than not most of the time. Necromancers are funny because summons will continue to attack even while I'm shooting Bone Spear. So I feel like this actually has more damage than say a summoner or a bone together. Look at the gear. Eight spear white wand, 220 necro hat with the godliest jewels I could think of that are real. That, that's a real roll, potentially. Um, 220, 30, 20. Impossible to find necro amulet. I just put the best gear I could think of on here. Dark force, enigma, trangs, two stones, and a rack. And I got silk weave on there to kind of go with the man after kill theme that I was having in the original one bone all res so this is a hero edited version of the best bone spear necro you could squeeze a little bit more damage with blue items decided to just go with the classics though there is our damage output just so you can see what a perfect bone necro looks like now let's look at this here get rid of that all right so those are the numbers from this exact Bone Necro. Now what would it mean to be half of that, you ask? Well, here you go. Half is going to be around 3,500 damage average for Bone Spear and around 3,450 damage for Bone Spirit. With this hybrid build, I have the numbers here right for us to look at. We were able to achieve around 4,600 Bone Spear on average 905 bone armor and bone spirits looking pretty juicy at around 4800 these are the percentages based on our target benchmark of 50 percent so we did 130 percent what we would if we were split 50 50 for bone spear 166 and 145 for bone spirit In my opinion that is enough damage and that is what, with what we currently have on our hybrid character. Let's get out of this guy. Let's go look at what a summoner looks like. Whoops. Again, hero edited character. But this is a typical summoner build. One that can clear ubers and do all the great things necro summoners can do. We do have a total of 80 revives with this character. Let's look at the gear, carrying the beast, concentration, pride, iron golem, uh, two, 20 helmet, 220 amulet, dark force for the three summons, enigma, trangs, two stones, a rack. Pretty similar gear, uh, but you know, of course the skill points are decked out for summon. 
Summon DCs, yada yada yada. Let's look at what it is. Mage, there you go. Let's look at that and see what we were able to achieve on ours. Half would be 389 on average damage, 642 health, 499 mage health. And again, this is half of that necro that we just saw. On our hybrid build, we were able to hit these benchmarks when I was pretty happy with them. 104% damage of what it would be at 50% with the skeletons. That seems to be the hardest one to hit is the high skeleton damage without investing heavy points. But they do have 147% health, so that's pretty good. It's almost 75% health of a normal, fully maxed out summon necro. 135% for the mage. 142% with the golem. So again, that's about 65% of the average max iron golem. Summons are looking good too. 162% health and 128% damage from the 50-50 split. So we're doing far more damage than if it was just 50-50 bone summon. Our skeletons here are going to be doing 1631 through 1645 damage with the might fanaticism and then of course the conviction so they can hit combo. Definitely without these three auras in my opinion your necromancer isn't really being a summoner. Those are uh, very important things to hit. The summons won't hit without conviction and they definitely need the boost from fanaticism and might. So let's look at my online character here. And this is the hybrid I keep yapping about. Very happy with some of these items I was able to get through trade. And I feel like this totally encompasses what it means to be a hybrid Necro. And again, because I feel like this actually does more damage than if you were to go Bone or Summon. Uh, so we do have the Call to Arms on the secondary. Uh, but we are going to be using Death Web. we got to stick with the Mana After Kill theme from the original PVM build. Without Insight, we're going to need that very badly to survive. So we have a 12 Life After Kill, 12 Mana After Kill roll on the two poison and bone death web poison resistance doesn't matter so if you look for one that's cheap do have a pretty nice jewel in that eight strength cold and three mana after kill i am in love with this circlet here five mana after every kill on the base of the item super rare in my opinion especially one that has some all res because res kind of is a pain on this uh, but the jewel itself is nine all res and 27 fire res 7 fast hit recovery 3 mana after every kill that is a godly jewel that's in there uh, we do have this necro amulet now you could try to get one that was 15 fcr and that would definitely save you from having to use an fcr ring uh, for me yeah we're one skill short we could mid max a little bit better but that's going to come at a hefty investment necro amulets are pretty expensive so if you can find one that's even 5 it doesn't matter as long as it has 5 faster cast rate uh, it is effective so you're able to get ones with you know higher strength higher res for pretty much next to nothing this is definitely the trophy item on the character here the two poison and bone with the block three bone spear and decrepify which saves you quite a few points if you want to use it i prefer decrepify over amp damage against bosses of course uh, and the jewel in this thing is just amazing seven strength eight dex nine all res three mana after every kill uh, definitely one of the trophy items on the build. Enigma, of course. Trangs, stone, uh, an FCR ring with some res and some strength. Nothing too special there. These are the reses I need, though. It's very specific to each item. Arachnids mesh. You hear that cow in the background? That was really weird. Arachnids mesh. Silk weave. You know, you could use sandstorm or war travelers Boy, uh, summoning GCs now that's the difference between this and the original video we did swap out our PNB GCs for summoning now you do obviously lose about a thousand damage with your bone spear but honestly man you gain so much more by having by having summon GCs your golem is way beefier 
you're able to have more revives you're able to have way stronger revives. i mean to me it just you know you're gaining so much more by having summoning gcs and i do have a poison and bone in there that i just keep because there's this this gc right here if you looked at them all it gives me another summon so i just went with one extra poison and bone five all res nothing too crazy um, now you're probably wondering what are the skills here you go max bone spear bone spirit bone prison bone wall something i didn't do in the other video was not max these two out for some dumbass reason i maxed out teeth which gives you like no bonus to anything uh, so that's how we're able to get the high bone armor is by maxing these two out instead of fucking with teeth uh, one point amp damage and then this is where I really just tried to hone in the best thing possible so you'll notice we just basically have one point in each one now you'll notice it looks really bad though look at the damage it's nowhere near the damage that I showed you and that's where the build is different in the sense that we have a whole nother way to kind of capitalize on the fact that necros keep the summons they have when they're cast so if you'll notice i get yeah, right of the pnb gc through my cube in here i always play with my brother who's always doing the battle orders or my friend so i pretty much always rock a full inventory but you're probably going to want to rock a cube to pick up some gear so you will lose a little bit of damage doing that go ahead and uh, boost this up real quick Get that battle command. Now you switch to this, the King Leoric Wand. Look at the difference. Watch, we'll switch, go to the tree. So without it, 121 through 124. With it, 405 to 408. It's almost quadruple the damage. And that all stacks accordingly with fanaticism and might. It's crucial that you do this. Now the best thing about this is, let's just uh, waste these dudes real quick. I'm going to go ahead and cast just the skeletons. Okay, now our skeletons are getting casted with super beefy health. Oh, lagging. Laggy over here. I don't know if you guys are seeing it, but whatever. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get all our skeletons. You should do this every game anyway if you're playing as a bone necros hybrid. Because to teleport without summons just is asking for trouble in my opinion. As soon as we switch, we do lose a couple. We're able to continuously hold 11 and 10. If we can stay battle ordered, we do lose one mage. So now, go ahead and switch. You just do this at the beginning of every game. You're already going to get the summons. How hard is it to switch for that? And the fact that the Leoric Wand only takes up two little slots in your cube is good to go. Because you're going to want to get Battle Orb. There's no point in not doing that. So that is what you're going to want to do to get your army. So now our skeletons are always good. And the wand honestly gives little to no... Gives a couple extra skeleton mastery for your revives you'll lose that if you wanted to play with someone though that had, was taking care of your battle orders i would highly recommend grabbing a white like this this white has three skeleton mastery on the base and why would you do this you ask well if you get rid of that and let's just say you played with just the white you're hitting that 125 fcr breakpoint one of the things about this build is that the weapon and the necro head have no FCR. So you can really just kind of put whatever in there. And we're still going to hit that 75 FCR breakpoint. Because it, I think 75 FCR is more than enough. But if you play with a white with the skeleton mastery on there, your revives are actually going to be doing... Three hundred and ten percent damage, so you'll gain another twenty percent extra damage by playing like that. So sometimes, if I'm playing with my brother, I just use the white, and I swap between the King Leoric and the white, not even worrying about the call to arms. But you know, I'm not playing with them now, so we'll put that back. Um, you notice I don't have a golem. You'll notice that, and we're gonna make one. So. Let me show you this cool little trick I found out here. This is very interesting. 
So I've gone over all the skills. We're going to go ahead and respec. But first, let's go ahead and make this golem. And you're probably like, dude, you can't respec once you have a golem. And you used to not be able to do that. I am very happy that they have fixed this. Let's go ahead and make that golem. There you go, Ethereal Beast, Berserker Axe, probably the best item in my opinion. Uh, now normally you respec and your golem's dead. And that has always been kind of a shitty thing about using such high-end items as golems because it prevents you from respecking. You know, you're always kind of min-maxing your character. I pick up a charm that's got six extra strength and I can squeeze a little bit of life out of it or whatever. Boom, you respec, he's dead. Now, since they changed it to where you can use Metal Grid now to save a golem on a character that's not a necro, you can actually go ahead and put him on there, right? And then respec. Got to make sure you have charges, though. So we're going to go ahead and respec. See, he's chilling. He's good. He's money. I take this amulet off. He's dead. But let's not do that because I don't feel like wasting a burr rune. Now, we're going to do an uber with this character too, by the way. So, this is another way you can exploit this if you're doing PvP and you want to have the best going possible. Um, let's say you were really risky like that. So, let's go ahead and juice him up. We're going to max out our golem. Right? 100%. The best golem possible. Now, of course, he's not this high or this strong yet. But the next time I join the game, he will be the best golem humanly possible. probably split it up between clay all right there you have it so now let's uh, put that back on so now when I join the next game he will be the strongest golem possible and since I can respec I can load him into the game have him be super beefy respec to my normal build and then it's like I put all my points into golem He's probably going to survive the Uber. Uh, yeah, it's a little investment, but losing one of these guys really sucks. Mainly because it's expensive, it's inconvenient, and it always seems to happen at the worst times. I've probably lost four already this year playing this guy. Uh, so let's go ahead and rejoin into another game. Now you're going to want to make sure... You got some Erdars. You know, you can do it without Erdars, but they just make everything so much easier. And we'll go do an Uber with this guy. And then we'll play around a little bit. Let's just go make sure we got some Erdars. I really like this build. I feel like it really capitalizes on what it means to be a hybrid Necro. And again, there's only a few builds in the game that give you the advantage of a hybrid build. Wow, this is super laggy. Uh, it doesn't look like we got any, so we're gonna get out of that game anyway. Like, the worst ping ever. So the only other classes I can think of that really can capitalize from being a hybrid would be a trap kicks in combo. 100% uh, because they can lay the traps and you know, take care of business. Uh, this, I don't know what's going on with my computer. It's like melting down over here. Oh, we got no Erdars over here either. Don't want to die. I should probably respect some points into vitality, huh? But the only other classes I could think of would be... There's ways you can do it with the Enchant Sorceress. Um, 
a druid summoner, maybe. I mean, I'm not too sure how well uh, they've buffed everything up. And can I just get some Erdars over here, boys? Looks like I don't got any in here either. This game's really uh, hating on me right now. Uh, but if you got any other hybrid builds you think that could benefit, throw them down in the comments, man. Tell me what you think. This video is probably a lot longer than most of my other ones. But I really want to give this video a fair shot. Uh, because the last one, you know, there was a lot of things that I'm definitely going to be doing different. Just kind of after playing around with it for a little while, you know, I feel like this is where we're at. Here we go. All right, so we got some Erdars. So now our golem is as beefy as he's ever been. Let's go ahead and respec. Forget that middle grid, man. Nervous every time I do that, man. I swear. Right, there we go. So I put six base points into Ray Skeleton just to give me that little bit of extra damage that I'm going to need. You can always put more or less into that exact skill. So Ray Skeleton. It's going to take away from your teeth synergy. I kind of prefer to play a little bit heavier on the bone. I mean, even 3,800, 3,700 damage is all right, but it's it's not as good as uh, 4,400 or whatever it is. I mean, because if you'll notice right now, if I was to just dump it all into there, now we would be at 3,639. So, you figure nine extra points, what's it gonna raise it to? Right at four, fourth K, so. I, I prefer it a little heavier on the bone, but you can kind of do whatever. All right, so let's go ahead and get us some skeletons. It's been a minute since I did an Uber, man. I gotta take my metal grid off. I don't wanna do that. It's pretty cool though about the metal grid saving there. Thing from a respec, I like that. Make sure you're on your Leoric wand. Get you some of these corpses. Get us the army we need. Now your mages will probably be taking a little bit of a beat in Ubers, to be honest. But the skeletons, they should be good to go. Okay, now we got the skeletons and the crazy golem that we wanted. That dude's got so much health. I should have looked. I don't know why I didn't look. Go to town real quick. Get us some revives. Salutations. Now, we're also doing an Uber, of course. So we're gonna want to uh, juice up the res you know i got some other items in here i got a training set of course i like playing around with that i got this homunculus with a super godly gear 
Jewel, 8 strength, 9 dex, 4 energy, 10 all res. Or no, that's 8 man after kill. Alright, this one doesn't have all res. And then we got the Splendor, 3 bone spear, Decrepify, which is what we're going to put on our secondary for Ubers. And then we are going to be rocking the Bone Flame with the um in it. 52 extra res is going to help out quite a bit. I don't think we're going to be where we kind of want to be with the res. Again, we'll put that on there though. Get rid of the stone. And I think that's all the extra res spots I got. A little bit of lightning absorb might help out a little bit. But you'll notice Mephisto is probably still going to... Yeah, our res, our res is going to be definitely low. But it shouldn't matter. With all these summons and being able to bone prison and all that stuff, we should be able to take him fairly easily. I could wear this. Actually, check that thing out. Ooh, 63 life. Stacked fire. Stacked lightning. And that's going to put us at... That's going to put us at uh, pretty decent, I think. Let's go ahead and open up that uber portal. Seems like a lot of work to do an uber. I hear you. But, you know. You really don't want to lose that beast, man. I wouldn't do the whole super strong iron golem. I've beat this plenty of times with even the old build and your golem lived. But if you wanted to be extra careful, you could definitely do this. Stacking the, the shit out of that because we are definitely not trying to... Uh, Trying to die down there. Alright, we're good to go. Let's get us some Erdars real quick. Lag super bad maneuver. Well, one's taking a little bit of damage. Mainly because of all that crushing blow we got going on there. So I'm definitely pulling all these guys back to the pile of Erdars that we're going to grab. We got more than enough right here. This is going to be a nice one. Alright, so as notice all our skeletons are good. We'll go ahead and use this for the revives. Don't forget about your bone armor. All right, let's get it. You want to definitely have Decrepify on your secondary if you don't have it on your first. And then uh, just teleport and you could do Bone Prison if you're getting a little scared. I think we'll be all right though. As long as I don't super lag out or pull them all crazy. Oh wait, I might want to put uh, some points into it. 
I already know how much it is. I think it's 160 points is what I had it at before to get better max block with the Monculus, which is what I would recommend playing. And I do play with that when I'm just casually playing. Here we go. Jeez, where is he at? Where the hell is Mephisto? I must have accidentally pulled him. Alright, lagging. Really bad. Well, I guess we're gonna take Bale first, huh? Bale's quick work, Golem's not even hurting at all. And yeah, I'm not losing any skeletons. Stuck on that damn Venom Lord. Should've grabbed some more mana pots. Definitely Bale's the hardest one to kill, of course. He has the most hit points. Probably chill out real quick, so I have enough to teleport. with that decrepify minus 50 percent okay we're gonna need to go get some more pots man you know hopefully not running out of time we might though it's all right it's low uber So uh, here we go again. Get some more Erdars. We'll be able to knock the next two out easy with it though. I wonder why my game's lagging so bad. It's making for a bad video over here. I mean the build's super strong though. Take 13 revives with this. That should be more than enough. Mephisto goes down pretty easily. For this one, though, I'm going to switch up my weapon to... Where is it? This thing. Ooms Lamont. Right? You're probably wondering why the hell would you do that. And that is because of terror. Terror is just super godly, you know. And you'll see if we get a lot of guys. Let's see if we get Mephisto. Hit him with Decrepify and then just keep spamming Terror. And anyone who spawns will run away. We probably don't need that, though. Now it looks like my Merc died, though. Let's see if we can do it with no Merc. I think we'll be all right. Erdars are super strong. And our golem is gonna be providing him with that fanaticism. I mean, he's not even taking any hits. And he's not spawning anybody either, which is really nice. Like we lost quite a bit of our revive. Damn, we're not able to do it, huh? Don't do that. Golem's taking some serious hits. Damn, what a fail. All right, though. Once that Merc dies, man, they don't have conviction. They're not hitting every time. 
Yeah. You guys are in for the long haul here. You know, sometimes that's how Ubers goes though, man. You know? Sometimes it doesn't go as well as you planned and what can you do? Other than get back in there. Wish my computer was running a little bit better. Like I'm playing on a Windows 2000 over here. That's why you definitely want to make sure there's Zerdars. I know these guys spawn in other places and what have you, but honestly, they you can kind of run out of them. The Blunderborns and the other guys in the Durants, you know. And you'll notice even fighting Mephisto like that head on with bad resistance, the uh, skeletons trucked right through. So that's a really good sign that our skeletons are where we want them. Get all these juicy Erdars over here. No, nah, we're good. This has got to be enough. You know, I would say, obviously, a summoner does this better. Um, but at the same time, a summoner clears the normal game much slower than a bone necro. So, you know, kind of depends on your play style. Actually, you know what? I was wrong. We lost all our skeletons. Look at that. See it. Sorry, guys. I've been not paying attention. I thought we lost our... Fuck, this sucks. We'll have to have some shitty skeletons, I guess. Because I ain't got the Leoric one. That's a bummer, man. I mean, well, that was pretty damn quick, I'd say. He dies, he dies type shit, right? Yeah, you should get him. Try to help him out with a little bit of magic damage. There we go. So that definitely took a lot longer than I thought. Um, whatever though, guys. I never claimed he was the fastest super killer. You know, there's a di huge difference between 20 more revives when you're doing this and not. There's a lot of work for this charm here. Let's see what it is. And I'll probably do some normal playing. Maybe for like 10 minutes or something. Let's terrorize right now. Nilithax Temple. Sounds dangerous. Yes. Good to see you. 1617 Pally. You know, I can't really complain about that, guys. I kind of like that, if I'm being honest. Not as good as my other paladin, but my brother has a paladin that he's trying to build, so. Looks like my brother got a new P Torch, so that's cool. I gotta say, I'll bet you that Golem, though, probably would have. He probably would have died without doing that trick. After playing it like that again, this is the first time I did it with uh, the new theory build, if you will. I am overburdened. And I feel like he probably would have died. So, hey, at least you can get around that now, right? 
get back to our normal build here again. Ooms Lamont, you probably think it's trash. Putting Decrepify and Terror on each on a wand, though. That's good shit, man. So if you can find a white wand with Decrepify and Terror, that would be pretty damn godly. Get rid of that for the Dark Horse. I don't think I showed you guys my other two rare ones. I got the... A couple other rare necro heads actually. I got this one here, which I self found. 78 life with the jaw, 20 alt res. For bone spear. I was so sad about that because it came with terror charges and I was like, damn, that's sick. But big L on the not one necro skill. No block either. But I still put a jaw on it because I liked it. Uh, I got this thing. Might go up for trade one day. Two necro, 10 faster hit rate. 30 block three spear one golem mastery which is cool the jewel in it i think is eight men eight mana 28 res three mana after kill let's go ahead and put that oops my white back on there and then uh these are just some other whites i have eight spear on this one with terror uh, this is seven skeleton mastery and this is one that you know i think the best way you could get for this build would be if you could find one that had three skeletal mage three skeleton mastery and three raised skeleton it would be almost as good as doing the arm and you would also always be at the 125 fcr breakpoint for teleporting put all this stuff back on oops get my stone Uh, there you have it. So let's uh, do like a bail run or something. You know, you can see how it plays, not an Ubers. I'm interested to see if one day you could get a damn iron golem to actually beat ubers by himself we i know we did it with several of them uh but it would be cool to see if we could get one to do it with just one iron golem and just have like seven supporting characters there and just juicing them up with whatever you can enchant and all the auras course have a barb in there for battle orders and battle command and I wonder if you could get one that could seriously defeat ubers all by himself that would be hilarious to me I might try to do that one day so we got our skeletons again first thing you do in the game get your skeletons look at that. all I had to do was just put one thing in a cube and now I'm back to business it's really not that hard to do or go out of your way some people will be like, oh, you're switching gear mid-game, but dude, it's one want. Go ahead and get us some army. Again, it's player one, of course, so I mean, it's going to look really easy. But... I feel like this is a better build than a pure bone or a pure summon when it comes to, you know, doing runs and stuff. I mean, because realistically, on top of getting a higher bone spear, we also get a higher corpse explosion. You know, remember I was saying half was six yards or whatever? Uh, so we're at like 75% the... Damn, I'm already out of mana, huh? Use them all summoning. So here you go, here's a testament to the build. We got all this man after kill. Can we realistically keep moving forward without pots? And the answer is yeah. And every time you do a corpse explosion, you gain grips of health. That right there, 90 mana, three bone spear. So getting that man after a kill is certainly recommended. Let's say almost necessary. I'm gonna grab some of these guys. You don't particularly need it to be as high, you know. 
you could definitely get by with probably 20. I would say you would probably want at least 20 though. And that would be just a death web and a couple of jewels. It's a real tanky necro build though too, and I haven't even been using my bone armor like an idiot. Got some dolls in here. Some souls. I love getting dolls. The reviving them is fun. They're very fast and with conviction they do alright. So again, here we are with no mana pots. And I think it won't be a problem. You notice we still got the same amount of skeletons. Ain't lost a single skeleton the whole game. You know, I know they haven't been in the stickiest of situations, but... Still, hang it in there. It's gotta be one of my favorite builds is the Necro Hybrid for sure. My computer isn't so damn laggy right now. I don't know what the hell is going on with this thing. Including some of our revives. That would be cool if we had more points into revive kept them alive longer. I think that that would be really awesome buff even if it was like half a second per level you know that would really put some justification into putting points into it because you know i don't really see the need to ever put points into it you could do that though if you wanted more revised and less skeleton damage but i, I would think the skeleton damage is definitely better Get up in there, some bone armor is hella good. Let's kill Bill and I guess I'll get out of here guys. Been a pleasure. Hope everyone has a good Christmas, that's for sure. Let me know what you think of the build in the comments. It took me a long time to find a lot of that gear, so. Definitely uh, enjoy playing this character, one of my favorites. I got my hybrid uh, Aladdin. Make a video out of him next. I have been collecting scepters for so long. Uh, it's ridiculous how long I've been collecting scepters. So you'll probably be stoked to see some of those. Some of them are pretty rare. And uh, we got a whole lot of Charcy food. Look at that. F? No. Classic? No. Look at the Mac Daddy items on Classic. Rare Martel defers. That's the shit right there, boy. Uh, let's check out how bad this garbage is. And uh, I will be out of here. Yep. Yep. Funny level 99 lifers, or SCs and GCs are useless now. Uh, what else is on here that I didn't show you guys? Uh, oh yeah, I got this amulet too. Ooh, yep. I'm trying to move my way up to 15 FCR. Uh, this one only has fire res on it though, so kind of a bust. And I got this. And I think that's it, man. Yeah, that's it. I do... Look, if you wanted to see... We will dump all the summons. In place of all the bone. I don't have enough. Those are the keys. So if you put, what is it, six bones in here? One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. No. Oh my goodness. All right, there you go, six. That's the magic number. Five, three, three, nine. That's pretty damn good. So, but if you look at your summons, let's get the arm on here. You know, 238 or 231. 
So you lose half your summon damage, basically. Maybe a little less than half. 45% of your damage. Just to gain an extra 1,000 Bone Spear damage. 20%. So to gain 20% more damage, you have to lose 50% summon damage. You know? So that's why I figured it made more sense to go with the summon GCs. Uh, the return just isn't really there for the PNB ones, if I'm being honest, you know, summons seem to be dishing out more. Plus that's one X that plus that's more summons on top of that as well. So but I'll check you guys out. This video is long enough. Holy crap. It's 48 minutes. I do. we long. <laughs> probably took 10 minutes, but y'all take it easy, man. See you later.